another beautiful day for composting and mulching and today I finished spreading out this horse poo that I had a pile of here over the rest of this area. You can see it's really um, starting to break down quite nicely so that will hopefully make some good soil before we start planting in August. Over here is where I've spread the rest of the wood mulch. Uh, I need another load to finish off this area here where the weeds are, are coming up through. And then this area will be finished, ready for next season. This is my cheeky little baby chickens that are not babies anymore, who eat anything green they can get their hands on. I've completely stripped my poor eggplants. And they've also found out this morning that they were the ones that have stripped this one clean, jumped up right here on this um, edging, a little cheeky rat bag. Over here I'm sorting out this compost pile. So this one here is pretty much finished. I put some of it around the tomatoes this morning. Um, yeah, it's a lot of dirt there. I mean there's still some chunky stuff that needs to be out but the majority of it is looking pretty good. And of course Pretty Girl is here to see what I'm up to and if there's anything good to eat. Hey. So I'm gonna, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cover this one up. It's quite wet. I don't want it to get any wetter. Um, and just let it sit, finish off with the bugs a little bit more. So these guys aren't digging in it so much. And we started a new pile here for the chickens to scratch through. I think it's going to end up being quite a wide pile because I've got these three barrels that I'm going to put on it plus the horse um, manure and straw that was a bit manky in my other compost pile. I'm bringing that and mixing it in, into it so it's going to be one lovely big pile. I spy with my little eye <laughs> something beginning with cheeky rooster. Caught red handed. Caught red handed eating my snow peas, you naughty little rooster. So here is my massive compost pile. The chickens are going to love digging through. Someone's already been under my feet the whole time while I've been making it. So I'll let them do their part now. Scratch it all out and as I scratch it out I pile it up again. I will have to um, put some more stakes on that back fence though so that they don't jump over there and eat the baby chicks feed. Yeah, now I've just got to dig this into one of the barrels, let it sit and finish making the dirt process and then we'll put it on the gardens. So I finally staked my tomatoes. So I just um, use the string to twist them around. Which way is it going? Like so. A bit hard to do one handed. And underneath here is all the fruit that was hiding in amongst the weeds. So the bumper harvest the fruit is still dragging on the ground because I didn't want to bend the the branches too much and snap them to get up. But it's yeah. We're even getting some ripe fruit. These ones are a bit soft because they're on the ground. The bugs are getting into them. But yep, yeah, there's the tomatoes finally. A little cared for. Have some happy campers in the compost pile. I threw all our food scraps in there to encourage them to dig through it and then anything that they don't eat 
becomes part of the compost. And they even get some warm feet on a cold morning for their efforts. Catch ya.